video. <laughs> Say hi to everybody, Sushi. Hello, I'm a cat. <laughs> everybody, this is Sushi. She's my new little kitten. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Oh, she's climbing on the <laughs> on the keyboard. Okay, Sushi, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> mm. She was born on June 1st, and she's three-quarter Siamese, one-quarter calico. I wonder where that one-quarter calico went. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> it all went straight to her tail, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to tell you guys the story of, like, how I got sushi, because she's amazing and I love her. So it started as a surprise. I had no intention of like just going out and buying a cat, um, but I uh, it was my birthday and my parents surprised me. They told me on the 15th, they were like, okay, Adam, at noon, come on over. We're gonna do something and don't wear pajamas. <laughs> Cause with COVID going on, a lot of the time I'm just sitting around in the house wearing pajamas. Next day, I went over there at noon and we hopped into their car and I had no idea where we were going. So the mystery began right there. I was just like, okay, what's like half an hour away? What do I know that's half an hour away? Are there any breweries? I don't know. I had no idea where we were going. We're driving for like half an hour and then we start getting onto some like real, real backwoods, middle of nowhere stuff. And uh, I'm just like, you guys taking me out back to shoot me? Is it <laughs> is it time to put the old man down? <laughs> we start pulling into this driveway and I see a cat go by. And I start crying a little bit and I'm like, are we going to go look at cats? Because <laughs> my parents have known for a long time that I've really wanted to get a cat. Um, and I just never pulled the trigger. I was always like, I got to figure out where am I going to put the litter box? I could never figure out where to put the litter box. But yeah, for my birthday, they surprised me. And they took me to this breeder that had a bunch of little Siamese kittens. We get there. Right? And there's just a ton of Siamese cats everywhere. And I love Siamese cats. They're just my favorites. When I was really little, I had a little cat, a little Siamese cat named Sushi. And she was really old. Like, when I was born, she was already, like, pretty old. So uh, I don't remember too much of sushi, of that old sushi. Um, but when I was, you know, still pretty little, my parents for Christmas got Chase and I two cats, uh, Sushi and Fauna. So we had sushi number two. So douchey. <laughs> and uh, we had her for a long time. She was like, 14 or 15 when she passed away and fauna was like 15 or 16 i think when she passed away so we had them for a long time and then ever since those passed away i haven't had a cat but i always loved siamese and we go inside and there's tons of these little itty bitty little kittens and uh unfortunately all of them were sold right you can't take a kitten home like right when they're born, they've got to like get older and all this stuff before you can take them home. But all of the cats there were sold, which was fine. Again, I didn't really plan on buying a cat immediately. We were just going there, you know, to look at cats and uh, see if, you know, maybe this was something I really wanted to do, buy another cat. Yeah, so we play with all the really itty bitty ones. Then we played with some of the ones that were almost ready to go. But again, they were all sold. And uh, my mom and my brother and my father all uh, knew that she, that she had some like three quarter uh, Siamese cats. So like their dad was a full Siamese cat and their mom was half calico, half Siamese. And while my mom and I were upstairs looking and playing with the cats, my dad and my brother were sitting there watching these little three quarter Siamese cats like just sleep and be adorable and play together and they were just like man that's a cute little cat right there why is that one not inside why does that one why is that one outside <laughs> so we ask about the three-quarter siamese and she's like oh yeah i mean if you want to meet them cool that works so we go outside and uh, as soon as i get outside 
little sushi right here. Uh, she comes over and immediately wants to start playing and starts purring. We pick her up and she starts purring. And she just wants to play and play and play. And I was immediately like, I like this cat. I really, I really like this cat. Um, she said that she also had an orange and Siamese looking cat. So I was like, ooh, that's neat. I want to see that. So we met that one and it was, it was kind of cute, but it was also kind of creepy. The big thing was it just wasn't as much fun as Sushi is. Sushi, where'd you go? Where'd you go, Sushi? Where'd you hide? Did you go down here again? Yes! <laughs> so, Sushi's hiding under the pull-out couch. I don't know why. Hi, Sush, how you doing? I will leave her alone. <laughs> Anyhow, the big difference was this other kitty didn't want to play and, like, purr and snuggle the entire time like Sushi wanted to over here. So, we go down and we're playing with that cat and we notice Sushi's followed us. <laughs> she followed us the whole way over there and still like wanted to play at everything. She was like following us around. So I like went to my mom and my dad and my brother and I was just like, so what do you think about this cat? I think I like this cat. <laughs> and they were all like, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we like this cat. <laughs> we like it a lot. <laughs> so, you know, I tell the breeder, I was like, hey, um, or no, I didn't say it. My mom said, she was like, so if, uh, you know, if, uh, if we wanted to maybe buy this cat over here, uh, how much? How much would something like that cost? Knowing full well that the Siamese cats cost like $800 up to like $2,000 or $3,000, right? The breeder was like, well, she ate a lot. She ate a whole lot and I don't know why, but you know, I gotta charge you for all the food and everything. And uh, she ate more than usual. Um, I don't know why, but... Uh, <sighs> Guess uh, we could. Uh, how's two hundred? <laughs> like my mom, my dad, my brother, and I—we were all just like sold. <laughs> just like I will take her. Oh my goodness, yes, she is the nicest cat. She's gorgeous. She's just like the prettiest cat in the world. And you're only gonna charge me. $200 because she's got that little lemur tail. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, y yes, sold. Uh, yeah, so then we went in, filled out all the paperwork, and I got to take little Sushi home. And she's been with us ever since. <sighs> she's a good little kitty. She's hiding right now. I think she's a little sleepy. We were just playing. We got her little video game system. <laughs> it, it looks like a Game Boy. And there's like this little ball in there and she's been just like playing with all that. She was playing with that for the past like half hour or something like that. So she's probably, probably a little bit tired at this point. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching our first little vlog, me and Sushi. Let me see if I can get her to say goodbye. She's asleep. I'm not going to wake her up right now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of these. It was kind of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.